Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Underrail Expedition. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm talking to Professor Oldfield. However, last episode was recorded yesterday, so I, um, I, um, uh, I forgot his voice. Anyway, I have an idea. I found a submarine at the, um, sorry, I have found a submarine at the Blistering Shores facility in the northeastern part of the sea at L12. Submarine? Oh, goodness me, that's quite a remarkable find. Shame it's so far away from here. How presented is it? Sorry, preserved is it? Uh, I don't think you understand. It's a functional submarine. It's damaged and can't be used to its full capacity, but it has an autopilot I may be able to activate. Wait a minute, you mean an actual working submarine? By the caverns? Sorry, by the caverns, he says. I think. Um... Yeah, a deep diving submarine from the looks of it. Remarkable! This would certainly open a new way for us to access these facilities. There would be no need to traverse the dangerous waters, but we can instead sail below the surface. The only question that remains is, will this submarine actually work? Um... I haven't seen any holes, if that's what you're asking. Very well, Carrie. Best of luck. You may become the first woman in two centuries to dive in a Lemurian submarine. Uh, the first person, I would guess, not just woman. Um, if I suppose. In If you need anything, let me know. We're getting so close. Uh, any discoveries? Uh, right now, we have a very good idea about how the Lemurian lived. Oh, yeah. Um, did we learn about the... Transport, the, their way of transporting. I don't think we did. As you may have guessed, the Lemurians relied mostly on vessels for transport. We have so far identified more than 20 or so types, from the smallest jet ski-like vessels to large freighters. To our knowledge, they didn't have any land vehicles other than a few used for specialized work. Specialized in land crawling, I suppose. However, the most interesting, especially since you discovered one, are their submersibles. Yes, most of their facilities are almost entirely underwater, which leads to a logical conclusion that NFT needed something that could perform underwater construction and maintenance. What they had was a whole range of so-called sub-assemblers and sub-lifters. They will lower all of the needed materials with these spherical cargo pods in documents referred to as subspheres. The, the documents are referred to as subspheres? Or are they referred to as subspheres in documents? Comas. Comas game. And from the sublifters, submarines equipped with heavy duty robotic arms moved materials with subassemblers well assembled and used. Okay, they did a thing. Absolutely marvelous, isn't it? On. Uh, one other interesting thing to note is their love for underwater, goodness me, how do I call it, sightseeing. Yes, yes, one record we found contains the plans for the illumination of a certain route following coral reefs that were artificially planted there for no reason other than decoration. This is amazing insights. Uh, I suppose these are amazing insights into the Lemurian way of life, Kerry, and a true testament to n n New Frontier Technology's ability to adapt to any environment. Wouldn't you agree? Uh, that, sure, that, absolutely. It's uh, just a shame that that's basically what human beings do in our world. <laughs> I don't know, I think it comes across as, uh, as the game trying to woo us with uh, the Lemurians being like us, like we are in, 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 you know, 21st century real world. Uh, I didn't visit that because I'm very bad. I did not visit that. Now, we need to go to places. We have a Black Sea thing. You have looked at a submarine. Uh, you've learned that the acorn may exist somewhere in Lemuria. The submarine you discovered at the Blistering Zone uses uh, the course automated docking system to guide the submarine to a facility. Submarine, mar submarine. For this submarine to work, you'd need the submarine docking submarine coordinates. And due to the submarine's damaged submarine thrusters, thrusters uh, a means to tow the submarine to the so chosen submarine diving the submarine the location. I, I, I sabotaged my, my 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 reading of that. I'm sorry. It just said submarine so many so many times. I just wanted to go with it because it could. Uh, so the submarine I discovered uh, uses this automated docking system. Um, for this to work, you need docking coordinates. 
uh, I would need docking coordinates. Hmm. And a way to tow it. Hmm. I'm not 100% sure what that means. So, we need to be we yeah, because we have some things, so maybe we're just going to have to wait. We're going to investigate the Lemurian Health Center, located at coordinates I1, and uh, reports of... Uh, just report. Let's go to I1. That sounds like a, an easy thing to achieve, doesn't it? Uh, also because we're just going to cut there. I mean, not, not completely. We have places to go to, but um, mostly... Hiccup, I'm sorry. Uh, mostly we are going to cut there. Uh, so, first off... Uh, I need batteries. And I don't have batteries in here, I think. Because I, I offloaded some stuff into here. Uh, the, the jet ski was that, that one. That's the one I left behind, uh, as far as I remember. So, I1 would be this way. Uh, it would be that way, actually. Mines. Well, that's pretty good, because we need to go there anyway. Uh, there is a passage that in that direction. I kind of wanted to go over there, um, but we're not going. Let's just go to the pirate's place. See what what is up with that. So we're in a place that connects to the back over here, and for some reason I didn't explore it. Good. Uh, there's some. It's fine. It's going relatively well. Nobody's attacking me, which is definitely different from when we were here before, I think. But for some reason, I thought I had explored everything back here. It turns out I have not. And uh, it's very clear that I have not, in fact. Uh, let's leave the uh, the rest of the stuff for later. You know, the areas to the west of here. This one is just an empty field. It's not a field, but it works as a field. So we're going, yeah, we're going this direction. I don't know why I thought I had explored everything. Uh, I know why. Because we circled from here to the right. We did the whole thing around, and that's why we missed those as well. Uh, a door. Okay. I like that. <laughs> I thought I was going to say a door that. No, I don't like it that much. Okay, let's, let's just disembark over here and see where we are, for one. Uh, this is the Black Sea. Okay. Could this be I-1? I don't think it is. Uh, do we have the... No, we don't have the, the thing with us. Uh, or in the um, the toolbar. It's this one, right? Oh, we're... I do! Okay, we're in the right place. Uh, I just don't... Hmm. I've never been here. An agility thing. We got a medical cabinet with nothing. We got stairs that lead to... Oh, it's the one downstairs. An agility jump. That probably is going to get us all killed. And, that, well, that's that, really. What will the agility jump be? Just come back? What a weird thing. Either way, we need to go further east. But that just proves that's where we need to go. We're kind of close. I wonder if that agility jump actually takes us further east. There's a lot of those. I'm not, I'm not sure I like that. <laughs> I'm not sure I like all the, the reliance on agility. Give me, allow me, allow my build to be amazing and overpowered, please, game. Just give me all the things. Okay, I remember this spot. And we should, no, don't press that button. And we should have a friend over there on the mines. The ferry boat person. Um, oh, sorry, the ferry person. The, well, I remember it was weird the way it was, it was described. Was it ferry boat or was it ferry person? I don't know. Uh, we got creepers already. Yeah. That's the problem with uh, the exploration, is that things respawn. And I don't, I'm not I'm not uh, a big fan of that. Although, yeah, I'm not a big fan of that. Let's just, just put it like that. I was going to say, it, it makes some sense. It, it, it is kind of cool sometimes, but in, nah, not really. Uh, yeah, we're, we're just going to... They're just going to be dead. Don't worry about it. Um, but, uh, okay, yeah. A propane tank. We're being slowed. We have the mines over here, but we have no nobody. Hopefully, we have uh, the person around here. There's a lot of spiders. There were a lot of spiders. Ooh, the lace thingy. Okay. 
Uh, were the mines in there somehow? Also, this is not where I need to be anyway, but... Um, which, which is actually worrying. Uh, I should be able to go through here. Because that, 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 I remember that had a bunch of enemies. Uh, everywhere had a bunch of enemies. Should be able to tell. Giant hermit crabs. Uh, giant creepers. Okay. Well, there's no giant weavers, though. Oh, they don't, they don't mention the giant weavers, which is weird, because giant weavers are also a type of enemy around here. Let's go into sneak mode, even though it is not that great. We have the corpses, but we have the new ones as well. Let's see what we can do over here. Uh, yeah, you see how being in sneak mode actually is not that great. Well, that's a kill. It's also a very wasteful use of my mana. Yeah, web blob attack, okay. Oh, that's not too bad. Uh, so my next cold ability is cheap, which is pretty good. So I can attack you twice and hopefully kill you. I didn't, but that doesn't matter. Because we can attack three times due to how amazing we are and beautiful. Um, mm, not great. They're now on fire, and that is great. There's more of them. I don't see them. There's definitely more of them. Can I move? I can't move yet. There you are. I think there's only one of them. Can I get out of here? Yeah. Oh, freaking hell, there's another one. Um, let's put it over there. Seems simple enough. Please step on it. Thank you. You're a darling. And can't end the combat. There's a, oh, the one that I set on fire. Very sorry about that. Except for the opposite. Okay. Perhaps are there are more somewhere. Oh, these are unusable. Right, because there's all of them are unusable except for the one bit, uh, the one uh, area that wasn't. Or the one, you know, in the one area that it wasn't unusable. However, we are, no, we're a J2. Wait. I, J, wait. I'm very good. I'm very, very good. Don't worry about it. Uh, about be how good I am. Uh, let's, let's take care of the mines and then, uh, let's properly explore this because I needed to go south. Uh, that's the spiders going stealthy. Let me just enter combat. Jesus. Um, okay. So this should allow me to clear a bunch of them. Or see them at the very least. Which is pretty good. Shouldn't have done that, but now you're stunned and on fire, which is a pretty bad state of affairs. Keep an eye out for any spiders that might be showing up. They're probably gonna die. Uh, put this over here. I didn't see any spider passing through here. Off you go. There's one spider coming in. Web blob attack, not a big, big deal. Uh, I evaded entanglement. I did take bio damage, which I resent tremendously. Because now I can't do my attacks. Hi! Hello! I don't like that. Please don't do the thing that you're doing. Um, uh, well, I need to set you on fire. And kill you. Uh, that's also the case. Okay, so we're not entangled yet, but I there's really no reason to uh, to move. Because where, where would we go? That's the one that needs to die, nothing else. And then just... Oh, no, that one. I should have... Should I have attacked that? I should have. Yeah. That was just bad. Okay, you're stunned, at the very least. Let's go over here. That's pretty good. There's another one. Did you see it? It's right there. Burn. You probably didn't see it. Yeah, we're good. Oh, 
There's a lot of them, as it turns out. Vern? All of yous. A little bit. Opportunistic attack? Your face is an opportunistic attack. You jerk. Oh, that's pretty good. And we're out of combat. See? That works pretty well. And our vest is carrying us, basically. Okay. So I believe... Oh, we even left stuff over here. I believe... Na those mo Yeah, those are the mines. However... There's nobody here. Hmm. That's a problem. Where would... Where would they be? Further up the coast? Up there? Because that's where the vessel is. Hmm. Let's find out. Because if, you know, we're, we're not actually doing the quest right now the proper way. Because it's not here. Let's go this way. I'm, I'm definitely using up a bunch of energy cells. But we should be fine. Because we're probably going to get a bunch of it. Uh, a, bunch, a bunch of new ones. Yeah, there's just nobody around here. So I suppose maybe what we told the the vessel, uh, the um, the ferry boat man was just in preparation of a quest later on, maybe? Uh, it did feel very out of place. It did feel like we were just saying things for kicks. Um, and uh, basically we found some mines and then found this person, completely unrelated, and... I mean, not completely unrelated, mind you, because the person was the only person who could do anything with the mines, but still, we didn't have any reason to do anything with the mines. No more than we have with that door, for example. Can you imagine just finding somebody with a bomb and being like, Wait, I found a door that can't be opened? I found two, actually, but let's just mention the left one. Yeah, that's how unrelated they are. Uh, but we are in the right place, and that is good. We also have a medical card over here with a capsule and a syringe. I do enjoy some good syringe. I don't. It's I, I don't know why I said that. Um, it's, I enjoy saying it, for sure, though. <laughs> Uh, why is I1 important? Apart from that elevator, mind you. Apart from, uh, just the, uh, apart from that elevator. Uh, okay, so let's, I save there, because there's a gas shell in there. With some gas poops. I don't need the gas poops. Did I actually take damage from that? I'm regenerating, so... Maybe I did. I think I did. No, I did. Down, the, down here. That's where it says. Okay, elevator. Touch screen elevator, I think. Welcome to the Lemurian Health Center P Bridges. Uh, rather, I'm P Bridges. Select the level. So we're right now at the Lemurian Health Center Courtyard. We can go to the main reception desk, surgery, intensive care, psychiatry... Psychi psychiatry? Psychi... That is the word, but I think. Uh, implantation administration. Oh, I do enjoy some good administration. Let's go there. It's all one area. And that is an autosave. There's two autosaves. The, the reason why it's an autosave is because um, it's specifically this. So get ready, everybody. We're in it to win it. We have a sign over here. Security office. Such good security. It is open. As befits. Electronics. Hacking 85. That is the best year to hack at. It, it probably is, actually, because it, it, everything it was down to the metal, if you know what I mean. Ooh, we have greater fusion. These, this is what I was counting on, by the way, um, to repair my... Uh, or to charge my... Um, There's a deathman now. Good. Um, to charge my bike. We have some trap that uh, I'm not going to use. We got some bullets that I should learn not to bother with. Uh, Molotov cocktail, more bullets, we got some cabinet, cabinet has got a despot, which is a combat shotgun, is not good enough for me, because I would need that to be 70, 70,000, that is just way too much, this is a unique shotgun though, so I'll take it, 
because it's cool. And honestly, that's what we're in it for. <laughs> for the cool things. Uh, security console over here. Warning, Lemurian Health Center is under full lockdown. Apart from that door, apparently. Uh, Anti-contamination measures have been engaged. You do not have permission to access security-related options. Uh, let's lift the lockdown then, because that is that should s solve my permissions issue. You do not have permission to access this control. Minimum clearance level required C5. I have C4, as you might remember. I wish I had actual C4 instead of C-4, uh, because then I would be able to blow the, the things up. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, I think it's easy to activate C4. All you need is pressure and heat. and that's Or is there an electric current, or is it heat? I think it is heat. Uh, and you can generate heat by applying electric current. Let's summon available servants. That sounds like a bad plan. Contact of active security supervisor. No active security supervisor detected. There may be temporary communication problems preventing this. Please try again later, and useful as always, those uh, error messages. I'll save before I activate what I assume is the death one. Um, but, uh, but yeah, available servants have been summoned. There's a receptionist, though. Excuse me. Welcome to the Lemurian Health Center. How may I help you, ma'am? Is there a doctor around? I've been hurt. I'm afraid not, ma'am. Allow me to apologize in the name of our medical staff for not being able to provide you with the medical service you need. They are deceased, ma'am. Everyone is deceased. The currently active robotic staff is not capable of helping you beyond providing the most basic first aid. If possible, please seek help at another health facility, ma'am. We are terribly sorry for your inconvenience. So what happened here, exactly? A rather, a rather catastrophic event, ma'am. The entirety of the Lemurian Health Center staff, patients, and sheltered Lemurian citizens have been extermin exterminated. How? By Biocorp armed personnel, of course, ma'am. No, I didn't mean, like, I meant how. Do you know the word how? Are you that dumb? Are you that dumb? My apologies, I am that dumb. The staff has been exterminated by an airborne mutagen, ma'am, delivered through the ventilation system. The mutagen caused rapid physical and psychological changes in all who came in contact with it. The result of these changes was death. Some through murder. Uh, I is yes, with a mutagen that causes them death. Some through suicide. Uh... I suppose, yes. Uh, the rest through damage caused by the uh, abnormal, highly destructive transformation itself. Uh, that sounds scary. What can you tell me about yourself? In an unrelated question. My current purpose is to serve as a substitute for the receptionist in his or her in their absence. When I am not needed, I am in standby mode, resting on my charging pedestal. I've been in standby mode for 249 years, 7 months, 14 days, and 12 hours, until the moment of your arrival, ma'am. Uh, you stopped being in standby mode when I arrived? That's interesting. You'd think that she's still in standby mode. Maybe. I don't know what standby means. She is standing by, but anyway, can you feel um, anything emotionally? This is completely unrelated and highly inappropriate. Like, let me just put it out there. You know, even though you're a robot. But the thing is, if you can feel... Emo it's like... It's rude. It's, it feels rude. Let's, but I'll still ask, because it's over there. And it's a big question, so, you know. You haven't talked to a human being in more than two centuries. Do you miss your former masters? I'm jumping to a lot of conclusions here. Because I don't know if... I don't know if they were masters, maybe? Probably. I don't know. We do not address them as masters, but as sirs or ma'ams. Ma'am. And I do not miss them. Uh, I didn't... Again, she doesn't know what uh, addressing means. I didn't say addressing. I didn't, it's like, you don't address your... Papi as a... Uh, like, Mr... Uh, whatever your father's name is. Wh whatever. But uh, still, you know what I mean? It's like, if I say, is Mr. something home? And you're like, no, I don't address my father is that. <laughs> it's like, what? Shut up. <laughs> anyway, the majority of servant models have not been designed... Have not been designed to miss. Majority? I don't actually know what she meant, but anyway. Some servant models have been outfitted with more advanced emotions. Uh, pro Sorry. Some servant models that apparently we address as servant or refer to as servant, even though we don't refer as master. Uh, because, the, well, it's... They... 
well, it is confirmed that they are masters. They just don't refer to them as masters because it's 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 uncouth. Uh, that's apparently the the justification. Some servant models have been outfitted with more advanced emotion processing units, but those are quite uncommon, ma'am. I am not one of those models. However, I think at least one or two such units have been assigned to the Lemurian Health Center, if that is an uh, uh, of any help, ma'am. Uh, what can you tell me about Lemuria? That is not a question I can respond to, ma'am. I am very sorry. Why not? My current purpose is to serve as a substitute for the receptionist in their absence. The only information I can give you is that related to the Lemurian Health Center. Yeah, but these two are related. Lemurian Health Center is part of Lemuria, right? But Lemuria is not part of the Lemurian Health Center. Is there a thing that the Lemurian Health Center is a part of that is also a part of the Lemurian Health Center? Because that's not what a part means. This, this receptionist does not understand many words. Very bad programming. There seems to be a misunderstanding between us, ma'am. Please allow me to repeat my previous response. Uh, no, I won't allow you to. Um, what's behind the Eastern Gate? Emergency and security wards, ma'am. There you will find the emergency room, head, head surgeon's office, operating rooms, surgical preparation rooms, and a storage room, ma'am. Uh, the Western? General service ward, ma'am. Pharmacy, general practice ex examination room, psychiatric examination... Microchip implantation. Hmm. What about the two gates behind the reception? Laboratory ward offices. Elevators leading to the morgue, ma'am. Just the morgue, ma'am. I, I, I do enjoy a good morgue, ma'am. Uh, is there a, a way to open the gates? The Lemurian Health Center is under emergency lockdown. Oh, I know the feeling. And the gates between the different wards have been sealed. Until the lockdown has been lifted, the only way to open any of the gates is by doing so forcefully. For this, you could seek the help of one of the strongmen, uh, but the... Uh, oh, right. Strong-men. Uh, not... Or, I suppose, you could have a space there. It's just weird. It's because it's, it's a new word that is... Whatever. But do know that you may need to justify the destruction of common property to the su supervisor council. Uh, you're not strong enough? Handmaiden models are not designed to exert the amount of force necessary to open the types of... Th these types of gates, ma'am. Uh, where... Yeah, you're not... That's what's called not... That's... It's, it's like, oh, your car is not potent enough? Oh, it's not designed to accelerate that fast. Yeah, right. Uh, where can I find a strongman? I'm afraid I cannot tell you with certainty, ma'am. My advice would be to personally search the floor for an available strongman. Uh, how do I do that when uh, the all the gates are sealed? But ma'am, the gate to the emergency and surgery wards is already open. Can you not see it? No? May I ask that you verify the current state of the gate in question, ma'am? Sure. Uh... <laughs> You cheeky. You cheeky. <laughs> it was closed. I don't. I didn't know if it was because I have no. I had no idea what gate it was. Also, I didn't explore everything. Uh, but let's check these cabinets. Okay. What is that? Just some things. Very light things. That's my favorite things. Uh. Cabinet doesn't open. Nope, it's one of those bugged out cabinets that weren't tested properly because they're behind anything. There's, there's, it's, I don't fully understand. We have a medicine prescription over here, the first one. A medicine prescription for 250 milligrams of... Basically, that's that's what it is. It, it, uh, it was... I. The point was that I couldn't read it. I wasn't going to read the things that I couldn't read. So, I didn't read it. We got a sign up here. It's the only one that's, that, that's lit up. Micro microchip implantation. We also have an electronic lock that doesn't have any power. Curious. Oh, did I get that? Let's find out. I mean, you might know. I didn't get that. Also, hiccup. Uh, okay, well, moving in. Uh, save the game because the game doesn't save on, on these transitions. Lower the speed and end the episode because we're out of time for the day. So for right now, I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Under Rail Expedition. I really hope you've enjoyed it. And if you did, go ahead and leave a comment. Like the video if you want to see the next episode come out sooner rather than later. But above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.